Hi, and welcome to this instructional activity mini video being brought to you by the Georgia Department of Education. My name is Tania N. Davis, and for this mini video, we're going to be talking about information processing skills with a focus on skill number six, which is primary sources. And I think that it would be really helpful for students to be able to understand this or beneficial if we bring it home to them or make it very personal. So for this mini video, we're talking about primary sources and explaining that it has to do with first-hand accounts or experiences with an event that has occurred. So you are a witness, you were there, you saw it with your own two eyes, you experienced it in some way firsthand. So we're talking about things like photographs that you took or that maybe you were standing next to somebody else as they took it or that somebody else took that you're able to witness. So it's a photograph that shows something that happened or is occurring. That might also be a video. So again, bringing technology and 21st century technology and present day to students so that they can understand the world around them and understand that things that they are experiencing, they are witnesses to it. They are primary sources for them. And that does include even maps and globes, things of that nature would be primary sources. Speeches, hearing a speech, seeing a speech that was recorded on video, a speech is a primary source. Writing in a journal, if someone has left a journal or a diary behind, if this, your own students are creating journals or journal entries, let them know that that would be a primary source for someone else. If they were interested in learning about what they thought or felt or what they experienced, those students that were going to school several years ago when we all had different health mandates, th those experiences, their diaries, their documentations, their photographs of that would also be primary sources for an event that happened in a specific time to a specific people. Think about that. Social media, they need to know that social media, all the things we're doing on social media are primary sources. We are leaving it behind evidence, firsthand accounts and experiences. So, and also tying this in for them too, am I leaving a positive digital footprint? My social media posts, my messages, the pictures that I'm sharing, my comments, my likes on different um, posts, those are digital footprints is the one that I'm leaving behind, a positive one. And then here you can text your friend a reminder about what primary sources are. Reminder, primary sources are firsthand or eyewitness accounts of events. They can be a variety of items like maps, speeches, diaries, videos, text messages, and autobiographies. And then my friend says, okay. And then, hey, are there other primary sources? Again, even text messages, those are primary sources as well. So other primary sources could be things like letters, interviews, newspaper reports, or even a census. And then an autobiography, your name here. Tell me about your life story. This would actually be a fun activity to have your students do. Have them create an autobiography, explain what it is, and ask them to talk about their life from birth to present day. What would you want other people to know about you? I think that'd be a fun activity to use with your students. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this was a quick little mini bite about primary sources and share some ideas that you can do with your students or some um, pieces of information that you can share with them to explain what primary sources are in a way that would make sense to them and bring it home to present day for your students. Thank you so much for joining me on the screen. You can see ways that you can engage with myself as well as um, the community that, community that we are a part of. So the Georgia K2 Social Studies Facebook page and then Godot Community. And of course, you can find different resources, including this instructional activity video, the mini video, and then the full length ones as well on Inspire. Thank you so much for joining me. Be well.